Hi everybody, my name is Justin Stoney and I'm the founder of New York Vocal Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to episode 71 of Voice Lessons to the World and part two of our How to Belt trilogy. Yeah. So uh, anyway, last time we talked about dragging chest voice up, which is kind of the bad kind of belting, but still something you need to be able to do. And today our question comes from Fatur S in Bogor, Indonesia. And Fatur writes, Dear Justin, how do I belt the high notes? And Fatur, that is a great question for us today. Uh, but before we get into that, we should revisit the topic, what is belting? If you remember last time, belting we can define as a drag of a lower gear up past where it would natively go to achieve a kind of belty sound. Now last time what we looked at was a true chest drag. It's really basically a kind of shout. Now this is not the voice that I would want you doing all the time. In fact, I would use it very sparingly. That voice will fatigue your chords, and in some extreme cases, if you do it too much or you abuse it, could even injure your voice. The one we really want is the chest dominant mix. We want to take our mix up higher, and it will still sound belty. So, right, so that chest drag is basically a kind of controlled shout. And the mix, this is the one that I'd have you use probably, I'll say, 90, maybe even 95% of the time. When we use the mix, we're going to be balancing the cricothyroids, whoa, with the thyroarytenoids, whoa. Okay, fancy words that basically just mean flexibility and strength to the vocal cords. We're balancing them out, and instead of pushing out or getting louder, raising the larynx, one of those shouty qualities. Instead, we're using nasal resonance and head resonance in the belting. So what that's gonna achieve is really high notes that sound strong like chest voice. They sound like they're being belted or maybe even yelled, but they're really not. They're actually in that mix. So what we're gonna do today is first look at this chest dominant mix belting in a song, then I'm gonna give you some tips, and then we're gonna try it out together in an exercise. So the song I'd like to look at is Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. This song, Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen, was made famous by Jeff Buckley, who's just a great, great singer. And last time we went up to, for a male, only around a G4, which is pretty high for a chest belt, but it's not really very high for a mix. This song, I'm gonna take up past there, the A flat, all the way up actually to a D flat five, which gets quite high for both a male and even for a female in this kind of mixed belt. Uh, but this is just a great song, one of my very favorite songs. And uh, here's a bit of that extension containing the head resonance from the great song, Hallelujah. So you see, uh, as I extend up there into that upper mixed belt territory, it really moves into the head resonators. It's not a push of chest uh, anymore like the first kind of belting. It starts to become contained, and it's still got that substance to it, but it's really uh, effortless because of the head resonance that's involved. So what we're gonna do next is look at some belting tips that can help build the mix and the chest dominant mix in your voice. Tips for this kind of belting are very different than what we did last time. If you remember last time, we kind of threw technique out the window and said, let's see if we can actually really belt, because not everybody can. 
right? Last time we did whoa, where the sound is opening up, larynx can rise, breath can come out, sound can get louder. That's a real kind of shout. This could not be more different, which is what makes this one the safer belt and the one that I would recommend you do very, very often. Here, we're gonna keep more of a narrow embouchure, right? We're not gonna be widening things in the front. We're gonna keep the tongue more tall, like our NG. Hmm, more of this tongue. So stuff blocking the mouth so that it doesn't get out like a shout, but stays in like head voice, however, has that strong quality at the same time. We are gonna have nasal resonance and head resonance, of course. So if you feel that hmm kind of nasal sensation or air back and up, those are positive qualities. We also don't wanna be pushing breath or getting louder. Don't take too much, don't use too much. This kind of mixing and belting is gonna rely on light compression to the cords. That can't happen if you're slamming the air too much. So really maintain good breath support. Don't take too much, use a constant airflow. And then if you're aware of your larynx, also this is not gonna be raising, whoa, just like we did last time where we didn't care about it, we just let it happen. Here you're gonna be more sensitive. Keep the larynx as stable, as neutral as you possibly can. So those are some tips for making that chest dominant mix happen. And now we're gonna look at an exercise. This is going to be hallelujah. So we're gonna use this great word, hallelujah. It's great to say, it's great to sing, and it's from our Leonard Cohen song. And hallelujah, why is it so great to sing? Well, the ah vowel releases the jaw, and then the e eh vowel is gonna give us that taller tongue. The ooh will be blocking the mouth, all qualities that help you keep the air in the head for your mixed belting. Then, if you remember uh, L in the Cell, episode 67, that ooh, ooh becoming ooh, ooh, using nasal resonance, then we get our nasal resonance present too. So you got nose, embouchure, tongue, jaw, everything contained in this belting. So I'm gonna have the guys start and then I'm gonna bring in the ladies uh, after we start. So it's gonna be this. Hallelujah. Great job. Hallelujah. Ladies, join on in. Hallelujah. Good for you. Low breath. Great. Nice job. Hallelujah. Stay small. for the ladies, but guys keep going. What a great job with that mix, finding the contained resonant space for your belting. It's so, so important, and I hope that you guys belt like that almost all the time when you're belting. But there is more to go because we have part three of our How to Belt trilogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. 
yeah. So stay tuned for that. Next time we'll have uh, more good work, but for tour and all, I hope that this has been helpful for you guys today as singers. If you've got questions that you'd like to see us answer on the show, you can send an email to questions at voicelessonstotheworld.com. And I just encourage you, don't lose that joy. Don't lose that passion. Do not let people tell you you can't sing because you and I both know it's simply not true. Get with a great voice teacher in your area. Or if you guys are in the New York City area or you'd like to Skype with one of our staff, you can visit us at www.newyorkvocalcoaching.com. And if you like these videos, you can download our free app. It's for iPad, iPhone, hopefully more in the future. A lot of great resources, articles, tips, videos, ways to help you guys take your game to the next level as singers. Or you can simply just visit www.voicelessonstotheworld.com. I'm Justin Stoney. We'll see you next time.